Hi everyone! Welcome to Dolls in the Cradle. My name is Anne, and in today's video, I am doing some size comparison to my older babies. So I don't consider any of these babies to be toddlers. They are just older babies, um, under a year old. So we're going to start with the two that one of my subscribers, Dolly Sisters, and someone that I did a trade with <laughs> uh, asked a question a little while ago asking me to make a video of the Maddie Sculpt and the Vincenti Sculpt side by side so she could see the comparison of the dolls. So, and this cat that just jumped up here to look at all of her sisters, this little cat, her name is Friend. Friend, what are you doing? Are you looking at all the babies? Are you supposed to be looking at all the babies? I don't think so. Get down, down, get down, 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 down. Oh. Okay, I knew that was gonna happen and there'll probably be another cat that jumps up there before the video is over. All right, so let's compare these two right here. So I'm gonna kind of bring this as close as I can. Gonna bring it into these two babies right here. So these are the two little ones that they wanted the comparison of. So Maddie is, and this is Maddie, if you're new to the channel, if you're new to the doll community, I think we take for granted a lot of times that people know what sculpts are, um, but they don't. Because I know that even to this day, when people are doing unboxings, they'll say things like, um, um, I bet you know who this doll is. And I'm thinking, no, I, I really don't. Uh, I'm sorry if the the lighting is bad. I'm, I've am i got them in a completely different place than where I normally film. So this is Maddie. And this is the Vincenti sculpt. So before I go any further, I'm going to say that every single one of these Reborns all of their information will be in the description of the video. So if you want to know what the sculpt is, if you want to know who the sculptor is, if you want to know who painted and rooted these Reborns and what their nursery name is, if you want to go and look at um, dolls that they have on their nursery, Whatever information I have with the sculptors and the artists, I always, always provide that in the descriptions of my videos. So, okay, so let's take a look at these two. Maddie represents, um, from what everyone tells me, Bonnie Brown um, sculpted her as like a six-month-old baby. Now, she is wearing... Um, they're all wearing actually almost the same thing, except for the two smaller ones at the end, which I will talk about them in a minute. But um, the three bigger girls in the middle are all wearing Next uh, brand, and it is six months, and they are in uh, these little rompers. So, so cute. All three rompers came together at a wonderful price. But, so let's compare. I'm trying to see if you can see... So how they sit up, their heads are pretty level to each other. When I come down and I show you their arms, so you can see that <laughs> you can see that uh, 
my Tallulah, and this is her name. Her name is Tallulah, and her name is Agatha Christie. I call her Aggie or Agatha. And you can see that Maddie, my Tallulah Bay, has lots of chunk rolls in her arms. <laughs> and little baby girl Aggie, she's got some little chunky rolls in her arms too. Um, as for who has the fattest arms, they look to be about the same with the round. So very similar in size, you guys, with these dolls. Now, I have to also say that these are six-month-old clothing. However, I do have clothing that is 12 months old, nine months old, that can fit these girls. So it really depends on the brand of clothes what, what that um, outfit looks like. So we're going to go here to the legs because who doesn't love some chunky monkey legs here on these dolls? So we're going to take a look at Maddie, our Tallulah. Here is Tallulah's legs. You can see she's um, pretty chunky. She's got some chunk of munch thighs. And it's why she's also, besides her beautiful, stunning face, um, she is a favorite among reborn um, collectors and just people that enjoy dolls. Over on this side, let's take a look at this little one. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry if I'm all in the camera. So she's, <laughs> she's got some really big, big thighs. And quite honestly, her thighs are bigger than my Tallulah. She's got bigger thighs than Tallulah. And, but when they come about right here, they are the same. Their feet are pretty much the same size and same kind of chunkiness that we have going on. So <laughs> I hope that helps Simone and for anyone that loves to see size comparison of the different sculpts out there. And let me go back up again so <laughs> we can see these precious, precious little girls. Um, I was really thinking with my Agatha, little Aggie over here. Now, Aggie is a prototype for the Vincenti um, kit. I'm not a fan of her eyes. I think that her eyes just seemed way too unfocused. Um, I'm not a fan too much of the color. And so I think I am going to purchase her some nice glass eyes. I mean, these might be glass. I think they are, but anyways, I don't know. Um, I'm going to purchase her some more eyes, um, something very similar to this baby girl <laughs> who has such clear, beautiful blue eyes. I would love to see those blue eyes on Little Miss Aggie. All right, so we're going to... Ooh, Bring in another one of my sweeties. Let me see. Let me get her head up before I... Why are you looking down? Corbell, don't do that. Corbell said, I'm not in the video with my sisters. <laughs> you're going to be... You're going to be... All right. So this is Cora Bell. Cora Bell is the Cody Bear sculpt. So you can sort of see why I named her Cora Bell. Um, it's... Uh, <laughs> It will, it's a very southern name, and uh, uh, I think I made it up. I don't know, but I bet there is someone in the south named Corbell. Corbell! <laughs> but let's back it up a little bit. Let's take a look at these three together, all right? So these three together, let's see if I can get their feet in there. Well, all four of them are going to go in there when I do that, but that's okay. Let me bring it back up, just like this. All right, so 
Cora Bell sits a little bit higher up than Tallulah and Agatha. However, she is also wearing a six-month-old romper that came as a three-pack, and all three of them, they do fit it very well. I can say that if I had to choose, she is, I mean, it's, it's loose on her, but it's more snug on her compared to these two little ones. Cody also has very similar arm size to Tallulah. Let's go in a little bit like this. I want to say that they're, they're pretty similar in size with their arms, with their legs. They're also very similar with the legs. Cody's, or Cora Bell's feet are bigger than Tallulah or Agatha. So she is a little bit bigger than her two sisters by just a wee bit. But, you know, she's still a little bit bigger, but they can, they can share the same clothes, which I really, really like. So those three there normally can fit the same size clothes. That could be six months, nine months to 12 month old clothing for these three little ones in the middle. So Corabelle, Tallulah, and Agatha. All right, so on the end, cause I do consider these my older toddlers, I mean my older babies too. I have, <laughs> let me move, let me see if I can move in closer here. Oops. So right there, you can see Norway, and Norway is the sage, playful sage, and she is absolutely stunning. I love my, my sage. I, I love, love, love Norway. When I first saw her, I fell in love with her, um, and I'm still very much in love with her. She's got some beautiful green eyes. Let's see if we can get in there so you can see them. So look at those beautiful, beautiful green eyes. She's got lightly rooted blonde hair, which I absolutely love, and I love the way that she is painted. And then, of course, there is Aggie. And you can see the headspace difference between Aggie and, oops, Norway. Um, Aggie sits up a little bit higher. Norway, the size clothes that she fits in best is going to be three-month-old clothing. However, she sometimes will fit in clothes that are six-month. But if I put the clothes that are on the middle three girls on her, it's going to be a little bit more baggy. So she is, I normally do three months or it'll go three to six months. So it's like three to six months fit good. If it says six months only, it's going to be too big. Does that make sense? Okay. So coming this way over here, we have, <laughs> let's see if I can get her in here. All right, let me, let me turn Cora Bell's hair, head this way so she's looking more at the camera, even though we're not talking about her specifically at this time. Um, I want to focus in on this beauty right here. So this gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous little baby here on the end, her name is Siobhan, 
And Siobhan has an Irish name because her artist is in Ireland. And she told me her name. All of these dolls told me their name. I never choose a name for my dolls um, before they come. I never ask anyone, um, what should I name this doll? I just can't do that because it's not ever going to be the right name. Um, they will tell me their name when they're getting ready to tell me their name. So let's compare these two. Now we have Corabelle. Her head sits, you know, uh, much higher than Siobhan's. Siobhan wears a perfect size three uh, for the most part. She is actually in the same outfit, different color than my Norway. As a matter of fact, let me, you guys, do something here. I'm sorry, did I make it blurry? I'm going to move Cora Bell. Come here, Mama. Come here, Mama. Okay, we're going to bring sweet baby Norway over here. <laughs> Norway's like, hi. Hey. Hi, sister. Okay, so let's do a comparison with these two. You can see that Norway is much taller. Um, she's got a, a, a more rounded face. She's got chunkier limbs for sure. Even her legs are super, super chunky. Look how well these dolls are painted. Oh my gosh, I have the best painted reborns. I've been really blessed that when I see pictures and open them up really big and look at them, that when I get them, I'm, I'm pretty much pleased with my dolls. There's only been a few, but none of these girls that you see up here um, ever gave me any, any problems. I loved them from the get-go. Okay, so let's back this up a little bit. All right, so. The, what am I trying to say? This sculpt, Siobhan, she's got more straighter legs than Norway. Norway is a much more um, chunkier baby. And I think that's why there are times that she, you know, she fits a uh, three month good, but at times she will fit a six month depending on what company it is, if it's been washed, etc. But Siobhan, because she's of a slimmer frame, she tends to fit three months um, perfectly. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And I've really been wanting to share my, my older babies with you guys. Um, let me back this out a little bit so we can see everybody wrong way. Alrighty. There is a shelf right up there with um, reborns. <laughs> My cuddle babies are on that shelf. These dolls do not stay on this shelf. They actually have a shelf that is on the wall, on the opposite wall. And that's because the cats won't jump up there um, with the dolls up there. But if I kept these dolls here, they would... Um, it would be bad, and it would be really bad, and I would be doing a lot of crying, and so would the cats. <laughs> um, but yeah, so here are the little ones. So older babies. Um, I do love a newborn baby. I do. But I'm going to say that I think in the year 2024, my collection of older toddlers this size um, just really blossomed and I'm enjoying it. And the reason they're all girls is because I had to make a decision on where I wanted to put my money at. And if I was going to have older toddler girls, for me, it's financially easier 
for me then to have all of these dolls be able to like wear the same size clothing and for them all to be girls so that they can all use all the clothes that I have for this size uh, Reborns. So this is why they are all girls. And I'm going to be sharing other parts of my collection with you, but I really wanted to share these older babies. And of course, I have two toddlers and I will be <laughs> sharing them in a future video. But until then, everyone, please take care. I hope that you're having a good day. I know there's been a lot of rain, a lot of flooding, a lot of tornadoes that have happened, and there's fires. There's just, just been a lot, a lot happening. There's been um, so much happening. So let's just, you know, make it that when we come to our wonderful YouTube doll channels, our Reborn channels, that we... Remember that the world is a hard place to live and it's a hard place to be. And there's already so much hate and so much happening out there that um, please know that when you come here, it's always going to be good. It's always going to be love, acceptance, positivity, and I'm going to keep the junk out because there's got to be a place in my life where I don't allow that stuff to come in. And this channel is that place. So on that note, everyone, please remember that no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. And Siobhan, Norway, Tallulah, Agatha, and Cora Bell, we all wish you much love. Bye, everyone.